Hello folks, this is 2016 May June paper 13 and the question number is uh, 35. It is concerned with the chapter current electricity. So it says that a circuit consists uh, of a cell, a cell, two resistors of resistances R1 and R2 and a variable resistor X. The cell has a negligible internal resistance. So here, V1 is the PD across the resistance of uh, R1. Uh, I1 is the current through the resistor R2. The resistance of X is reduced, so X is reduced. So with that, we have to find the effect of this thing on V1 and I2. So uh, in order to have a better analysis of this thing, so let us uh, uh, redesign this thing uh, somewhat like this. So the circuit will look like this. So this is the cell. Cell, it comes like this. This is R1. This is R1 then it goes to two branches like this two branches so this is the two branches in one branch there is x in another branch there is r2 r2 and then somewhat like this so this is a v1 this is x x uh, this is r2 and uh, uh, this current is uh, I2. So if this is I2, uh, this whole from here to here, it is I2. This is Ix, let us say, Ix. Uh, this is a whole I. So this is the uh, circuit diagram. So we are just making uh, things easy. So in order to uh, analyze these things uh, specifically, uh, let us give uh, some values here. Let us give some values. So let us say we have got this R1 equal to 5 ohm. This is 5 ohm. This is also 5 ohm. And this is also 5 ohm. And say let us say this the cell is equal to 15 uh, volt. Let us see. So I am just giving some arbitrary values here. Now we have, uh, in this case, what happens is, let us say uh, the total resistance in the circuit will be equal to, equal to, 5 plus parallel of these things which is 2.5 equal to 7.5 ohm it gives us the total current in the circuit is equal to equal to uh, 15 volt by this r total 7.5 equal to 2 ampere so current equal to 2 ampere and now what happens is uh, since the uh, resistors are right now equal the current will be divided equally so this gives us Ix equal to I2 equal to 1 ampere. Now, let us say this uh, 5 has decreased. 5 has decreased and it becomes, it, it becomes, so this uh, Rx is equal to, Rx becomes equal to 3 ohm. So if it is 3 ohm, then, then, then we have the, uh, the resistance, the parallel of this thing and this thing. 3 and this thing will be equal to, so uh, let us say, so R parallel will be equal to uh, Rx R2 divided Rx plus uh, R2 equal to 3 into 5 by 3 plus 5 and that's equal to 1.875 ohm which gives us R total nu is equal to is equal to R1 plus Rp equal to 5 plus 1.875 and that's equal to 6.875 ohm so this gives us the new current is equal to i nu is equal to uh, 15 by 6.875 equal to so 15 by uh, 6.875 equal to 2.18 ampere so the overall current has increased overall current has increased now uh, has increased so if uh, the overall current increases here increases here the pdv1 should increase pdv1 should increase. r1 is same current increases so pdv1 should increase so that means uh, our choice this and this disqualify only c and d remains only c and d remains now this i nu will divide among these things the among these things according to the new resistance ratios so what I ha have is, for the PD here, PD is equal for both of them. So I should have Ix into, into 3 should be equal to I2 into 5, which gives me Ix equal to 
5i2 by 3. Also, I know that this ix, ix plus i2 is equal to this new uh, current which is equal to uh, is equal to um, 2.18 which means i x equal to this much 5 i 2 by 3 plus i 2 is equal to 2.18 and when i do mathematical calculations so this is uh, 5 i 2 plus 3 i 2 is 8 i 2 so 8 i 2 becomes uh, 8 i 2 i 2 by by 3 becomes 2.18 i2 is equal to 2.18 into 3 by 8 equal to equal equal to so 2.18 into 3 by this equal to 0.8175 5 ampere so i2 is equal to this much initially i2 was 1 ampere and now it becomes 0 0.8175 ampere so that means i2 decreases i2 decreases so that means the choice that we have is choice number c and the choice number d disqualifies i have done it in this much detail with numerical value because if i don't use numerical value uh, i can just say it vaguely but uh, uh, it might not be true so when i uh, reduce the, it's it's uh, uh, resistance the overall r decreases which means the overall r of the circuit decreases and this increases the uh, current of course uh, current of course so when the current increases here so we are not sure whether this i2 will increase or decrease so overall current increasing so this uh, resistance decreasing which means uh, current here increases so we are not sure whether it, it, it will increase or decrease here so use of numerical proper numerical values would be better uh, in order to do these sort of problems it might be uh, rigorous but uh, uh, what we get is accuracy or correctness thank you